Hey guys, welcome to Atlas. This is Survival Bob. I am not doing my Let's Play right now because we've actually got an update. Believe it or not, we've got an update for Atlas. I, uh, I wasn't paying attention. This came out a, a day or two ago, it looks like. And uh, when I went to switch on my Xbox, I got a 54 gig update going. So I'm going to go through these patch notes with you while I'm waiting for it to update. Maybe uh, you've seen it, maybe you haven't. All right, I'm going to try to read through these. Uh, you may not be able to see them if you're on a phone or something small, but... So first off, they're just thanking everybody. Um, let's see, so today we'll be rolling out a new major version. This will include new item from ship combat, some balancing changes, quality of life improvements, as well as miscellaneous bug fixes and updates. So let's take a look at the patch notes. Uh, guys, I think this could have been called the fire update because a lot of this has to do with fire. The new item, we've got a ballista flame bolt, which sounds awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And what will it do? It'll set fire to sails. Uh, you can hit a sail with multiple bolts to add multiple fire buffs. Fire can be extinguished by the Olfen, so that's cool. We've got that guy on board. You can uh, use him as a little fire extinguisher or a bucket, uh, assuming you can get one up there. So, sounds like that may not be the best option. Now, you can extinguish it by fully closing the sail, but that's going to give your enemies time to uh, catch up with you and take you out even, uh, even better. So, the fire buff will not stick during rain or snow, which makes total sense. Fire bolts can also set other structures on fire, creatures, and the ground. It will be and will damage the mass if hit there instead of the sail. So uh, it looks like the fire bolts are going to pretty much damage everything. So uh, that looks like something I'm looking forward to. That'll be fun. They did a little bit of balance changes with the decreased oil jar weight. We increased the torch damage and increased the flame arrow damage again on that fire theme. Let's look at the quality of life changes. It says they've added the ship heading indicator on the map when you're on the captain's wheel. That will be helpful. Thank you, devs. Uh, they've improved the skill tree search UI when using the gamepad and the skill tree. When searching for craftables, you'll now see all results even if you have not unlocked a craftable. Double click and go to the skill on the tree uh, to take a look at it. And, and honestly, if you've tried to search the skill tree, uh, it's, it's crap. It's hard to find what you're looking for, at least for me anyway. Uh, so the Olfen, they've added water capacity numbers so you can actually see when you're riding it. You can actually see the HUD interface uh, when you're riding it, whereas before you had to look at it. Uh, added item descriptions with helpful gameplay relevant info. So, looks like they're going to try to be helpful. The first batch includes 80 items, more to come in future patches. So it looks like they threw 80 things out there. We'll see what they look like. Some more miscellaneous bug fixes. We've got a main menu exit highlight now works with mouse over. We have removed the marine sublevels from server cook so players stop bashing their ships into invisible underwater rocks near the shore. Now this could be game changing guys because I don't know about you guys but I've lost a ship or two to some invisible rocks. I don't know if that's what it was or if there's some other uh, glitch going on that they haven't patched yet but I'm playing on single player Xbox and I have lost two ships uh, which actually ended one of my series because I rage quit pretty much and uh, just I logged on and just saw my crew sitting in the water and I know it wasn't a server so they weren't they shouldn't have been loaded in so as soon as they loaded in they started sinking so I don't know if that was an invisible rock issue or if that was something else but uh, hopefully they'll get that fixed because that is no fun when you lose all your progress due to uh, a stupid glitch like that. Bottom rows on the server grid select UI are now properly clickable. That sounds good. Scale down seagull slightly when carried. It was too big, so it looked weird on your shoulder. And they removed the takeoff particles when you toss it. So that's good. Uh, so they fixed a bug where flame arrow, flame buff would desync when shot at a moving ship and be visibly left behind. They also fixed a bug where the oil slick toss oil jar would desync when hitting a moving ship and being left behind. The old fend, uh, we've got an issue where if you break out of the drinking animation by moving around, the drink ripple would stay above its snout. Uh, they also tweaked the water amounts when adding to or drinking from the water barrel, and they improved the trace when the rider sprays the water so you can see where it's hitting. And it makes it easier to hit fires that are above you, which will be needed to fight those ballista flame bolts. We've also got some bird taming improvements, which I'm excited about also, which include preventing them from immediately flying after the bowler releases when they should attack instead. So if you had tamed a bird in the past and uh, it's getting up after the bowl and you, you don't have it trapped somewhere, it's just going to take off and you're chasing it all over the place. Whereas now it should come straight at you, which will make it easier to, uh, to get with the bowl again and get it, get it tamed. So that's nice. 
So they fixed a bug where in progress sail canvases repairs do not continue after transitioning. I'm assuming they mean from tile to tile. Uh, they fixed a bug in the crop plots where the fertilizer amount shows zero after a save load. I never noticed that. They resized the large crop plot mesh so it actually looks larger than the small crop plot. So apparently, uh, apparently that was a thing I didn't realize. Um, I just went straight to the large crop plots and never messed with the other ones. But uh, it doesn't look like it's changing the footprint of the collision, so you shouldn't have any problem with what you've got going on. It should just look a little different. Uh, tutorial UI, they fixed the bottom label text not clipping when scrolling. We've changed tribe member offline duration string to better fit the UI. Uh, in the ammo container, the HUD tooltip displays ammo types only if it's greater than zero. So if there's nothing in there, uh, you won't see it, which is nice. We fixed a bug where the water barrels was always being placed with 3,000 water, which kind of stinks, guys, because uh, I like that bug. Uh, so if you're out of water, you can make a barrel real quick, throw it on the ground, um, or if you have a barrel, you pick it up and put it back down, and you've automatically got 3,000 water. Uh, now you got to start with zero and hope it rains, uh, but, you know, that that's, that's the way it should be, but I was enjoying that, uh, that little glitch. So they re-added missing tools folder to Steam PC client, which is good, I guess. Fixed ammo container HUD shows press left shift to switch between ammo types when looking at ammo container or on a ship after getting on off a turret. So uh, happy sailing from the crew. So uh, they're letting you know uh, what's going on. And I love this first comment. Is this an April Fool's joke? That's kind of what I felt like too. We've had so few updates for Atlas. Uh, but uh, we got a good one here. I'm happy about it. Uh, appreciate the devs doing that. I know everybody's been giving them a hard time because... Uh, it seems like they've only been paying attention to ARC, but uh, I'm happy to see these updates. I think this will be fun. I love this picture here with the uh, with the sails on fire. I think that's going to be a lot of fun, especially when with you guys in PvP official. So look forward to that. Nevs, if you're listening, let's get an update on the on the on the pirate camps, guys. Uh, I know it doesn't affect the official guys, so no one's screaming about it, but. For those of us who are playing single player worlds, the pirate camps could be so cool. They are awesome addition to the game, but the glitch where they just respawn on top of themselves, making multiple layers of foundations and everything is just makes it unusable. So we've all got it turned off for the most part. And uh, we, I'd really love to do that. I think that's a cool addition. I, I love the idea of it. Just uh, need to clean it up a little bit. That'd be awesome. So guys, that's the end of this, uh, this little uh, episode. This is Survival Bob with some news and updates on Atlas. If you enjoyed this, if you found it useful, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my uh, Let's Play series if you want to laugh and uh, have some fun as old Bob tries to figure this whole Atlas game out. And uh, we will see you next time. Remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it.